Let's proceed with four phases of menstrual cycle. First is menstrual flow or the menses. Second is proliferative or follicular. Third is ovulation. And fourth is luteal. Menstrual phase or the menses. It is the time when you get your period girls. It starts when an egg from the previous cycle isn't fertilized. Because pregnancy hasn't take place, the thickened lining of your uterus that you can see in the menstrual phase at the picture at the left that should support a pregnancy is no longer needed. So it sheds through your vagina in the form of your period. And in this time, you are going to suffer from menstrual cramps. And the level of hormones estrogen and progesterone drop. Follicular or proliferative phase. It starts on the first day of your period. So, there is some overlap with the menstrual phase and ends when you ovulate. It also starts when the hypothalamus sends a signal to your pituitary gland, the master gland, to release the follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, that assists the maturation of the follicles and causes the secretion of estrogen from the follicles. Estrogen is also increasing at this point, as you can see at the picture in the left, that pushes the pituitary gland to release luteinizing hormone that also initiates the maturation of the follicles of the ovaries. So, at this point, there are three hormones that involve in follicular. One is FSH, LH, and the estrogen. Now that we are done with menstrual phase and follicular phase, Let's proceed with ovulation phase. It is the time when your ovary releases the mature egg. This egg travels down the fallopian tube, also known as the oviduct, toward the uterus to be fertilized by the sperm. Ovulations happen around day 14 of your cycle, if you are 28 day cycle, and last only about 24 hours. After that, the egg will die or dissolve if it isn't fertilized. During this time, no hormone is being involved. The ovulation phase is the only time during your menstrual cycle that you can get pregnant. You can tell that you're ovulating by symptoms like a slight rise in your basal body temperature. Mataas ng konti ang inyong temperatura. And you have a discharge that is like the texture of an egg white. Now we're down to the last phase, which is luteal. After the follicle releases its egg, it changes into the corpus luteum. This structure releases hormones, mainly progesterone and some estrogen. As you can see at the picture at the left, yung may bilog, yung pang apat, you can see a triangle na mapula. So, ibig sabihin po nyon, yung lining na yan ay makapal. So, ba't po kumapal yan? Because of the hormones, progesterone, and estrogen. Because, uh, kaya yan pinapakapal para kapag yung egg po ay na-fertilize, ready na po siyang ma-implant dyan. Kasi yan din po yung part kung saan nabubuo o lumalaki yung baby. Yan. So, if you do get pregnant, ang body natin ay magpo-produce ng HCG. Okay, so ito yung mga nababasa nyo sa pregnancy test. Okay, kapag uh, umihi kayo with, along with the uh, sasama yon sa pag nade-detect ng pregnancy test yon. Kapag buntis ka any time of the day, makikita doon agad positive. And that hormone maintain the corpus luteum and keeps the uterine lining thick. So, nadagdagan tayo ng isa pang hormone which is the HCG. So, continuation for a luteal phase. If you don't get pregnant, the corpus luteum will shrink away and be resorbed. So, madidesolve na ito. 
madidisintegrate na rin siya. This leads to the levels of estrogen and progesterone which causes the onset of your period. So, as you can see, dito sa number 4 na may bilog, yung triangle ulit na, na red, na makakapal. So, yung reason yan, ba't siya kumapal? Kasi preparation niya for pregnancy. But since hindi ka naman na, na, na buntis, so ang mangyayari niyan, magsished yung lining na yan in the form of your period. Yan. So, kagaya dito ng makikita nyo sa picture sa baba, yung may nakaturong arrow, yung peak ng progesterone at saka ng estrogen, pababa na rin siya. Okay? Kasi, yung lining na yun, magsished na during your period. Okay, to summarize, so we have menstrual phase, so walang involved na hormone, so we have follicular, so may tatlong hormone na involved doon, so we have estrogen, luteinizing hormone, and FSH, ovulation, walang involved na hormone, pagdating natin dito sa luteal phase, meron naman na involved na hormone, um, estrogen and progesterone. Okay, pero hindi siya ganun kataas, pero involved pa rin siya.